stop fidgeting for a moment. I have an idea. You're free! Wow! What's going on? What have you done? Are you a surgeon or something? Here we go! The next exit is approaching. The next exit is approaching. The next exit is approaching. <coughs> You're not supposed to eat chips in bed. Here we go! The next exit is approaching. This is where the cutlery is usually kept. Oh, great balls of fire. There's cutlery in there. Let's see. Now, what if we hear a knife and a fork? This series of surprises just keeps on coming. What's this? Not one spoon? Where the heck are the spoons? Hmm. Maybe I could cook myself to freedom. Only with a good measure of garlic! I'll take it. Yeah, I can reach between the desk and the drawer with this. With any luck... There! Success! 
There's an old key in the drawer. I'll take that. I bet it's important. Dr. Marcel kept it hidden in a locked drawer after all. Let's see. Wow! That really worked! Can you remember this, Harvey? Yes, indeed I do! You and Alfred had a private lesson with Mr. Hornbush. The lesson was utterly boring. And while Alfred did his best to follow, I taught you how to forge signatures. Do you think we can go back there so I can learn it again? That should be no problem. Are you ready? Yeah. Temple morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. <laughs> Dear, I really do remember, I'm afraid. This is Mr. Hornbush's math class. He was very strict and he always picked on me. I'm afraid that if I don't pay attention, he'll lock me in the cupboard again. This is a riddle you have to solve on your own. Good luck, Harvey. I think Edna is afraid of Mr. Hornbush. I wonder if it can be of any use. If Edna gets wind of a circus, she'll be even more upset about not being allowed out. Edna would much rather go swimming than sit through this dull math lesson. Edna is the queen of the slide. She can even slide uphill. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a circus in town! What's that you say? A real circus? Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again! And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! Edna Conrad, you keep interrupting the lesson! I'll give you an official warning! On the third warning, I'm putting you in the cupboard! Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. Edna, Edna, Edna! Swimming season's begun! Oh, I'd like to go swimming, too. Mr. Hornbush! Mr. Hornbush! Edna's talking to herself again. And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment. I have to ask you to behave, young lady. That is the second warning, Edna. Interrupt the lesson one more time, and I'll put you in the cupboard. I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. Edna! 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 They have a new slide at the playground! What? I've got to go there. I can't risk anyone breaking my record in slalom sliding. Mr. Hornbush! Mr. Hornbush! Edna's talking to herself again. And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment. Edna, that's it. Enough is enough. Into the cupboard. Come on, move it. But... No back talk now. This hole in the... It's really handy that... There's a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket. I'd love to know what it says. Can you reach the letter? Sure. Hmm. I can't make out anything. It's much too dark in here. You could pass the letter through the hole. Then I can read it for you. Good idea. This is incredible! 
The letter is from Dr. Marcel, addressed to Mr. Hornbush. The doctor is paying him money to hold you back in school. And he stresses that under no circumstances are you to be allowed to leave class early. Especially, and this one's underlined, when the weather is good. I can hardly believe it. Obviously, Dr. Marcel has been carrying out a personal vendetta against me for a long time. He'll pay for this. This all seems a bit illogical to me, but I've seen it written in black and white. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Maybe you should ask Mr. Hornbush to let you take part in the lesson again. I can't believe that you, of all people, would say that, Harvey. Why? We can wreak more havoc that way. That, of course, is true. Mr. Hornbush! Isn't that your father's handwriting on the note? Yes, why? It's just a little memo about my sandwich. Well, how about we create our own little note for Mr. Hornbush? In your father's name! You mean, we'll forge his handwriting? We'll just borrow it! After all, you have plenty of time in here to practice it. Or did you have other plans? Hmm, you're right. This really sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll even manage to get out soon enough to enjoy the weather. That's how you learned to forge signatures back then. You got so good at it that after a while you could forge anyone's signature. Just by looking at it. Yeah. I think I could still do that. I really hope this is going to help me. This classroom is not exactly what I call one of my favorite memories. <laughs>